Ed, let me stay with you on another area of concern that I, I hear from integrators quite often, and that is fiber versus copper. What should they be using out there for uh, their AV over IP networks? Well, um, not all uh, uh, AV over IP platforms will give you the, uh, the pipeline to utilize copper or fiber. When it comes to our uh, AV over IP, we have both engines built into it. We have copper or fiber. You could pick and choose depending on the distance. Obviously, category has some limitations. 100 meter or 330 feet on a CAT 6A, that's, your, that's gonna be your limitation. But with our AV over IP, we have the fiber engines built into it. So if you're uh, suppressing that distance limitation of 330 feet, you could just plug in the fiber. So um, with us, uh, you could go up to 30 kilometers on a, on a, on a, on a fiber. Yeah, Larry, are there any other pros and cons on fiber versus copper? There is. Um, obviously, uh, copper is more durable, uh, whereas fiber is a little more delicate. But in terms of EMI, it's also a lot less in fiber than there is in copper. I also want to add one more thing to that. When you're utilizing copper, you could utilize the PoE aspect of things. Um, RAV over IP also has the PoE enabled. But when you're going to fiber, then fiber obviously requires power supply on the receive side. So there's an advantage and disadvantage to both. All right, let's help out the integrators in terms of what they should be looking for in their HDMI. You know, we've been waiting for quite a long time for the final uh, compliance test specification for uh, HDMI 2.1. What should they be looking for? Is it something they should be asking about? Is it, is it labeled? What's, what's the direction and help for them in terms of while they're waiting for this, this 2.1 spec to hit the, hit the books? Well, the test specifications have not been released. And if a manufacturer is claiming that the product has been certified, that's just going to be, uh, you know, we call it marketing lies or honest lies. So uh, you always want to wait for that test specification or the, the test houses to be able to test the product. Uh, we know some of the key features when it comes to 2.1, we could support eARC, so on and so forth, but to actually have a certified product, it's not available yet. So without that certification in place, you mentioned eARC and some of the things that you guys are doing, what should they be looking for or asking their supplier when they're, when they're looking for their HDMI cable? Well, that's a good question. There is no one way of answering that. Uh, it's all about reputation when it comes to products. Uh, so if, you, uh, if the company is reputable selling the product and you trust them in delivering on the promises, that's the, probably one of the better ways of looking at the product and specking it in without any uh, certification currently. Um, also, making sure that their uh, 2.1 product is transparent. That means it's not, it doesn't have a choke on a performance. It's not fooling to eat it. It's uh, in thinking that it made a hard connection with display. What we found in our testing with third-party companies or manufacturers claiming 2.1 cables and whatnot, uh, we found that these cables actually uh, insert an EDA table um, to fool the source in thinking that it made a hard connection with display. And, and that's false. And you want your um, cable to be a medium. You want it to be transparent. You want that edit information to be sent from display back to the source so they can make a handshake. And the desired information is sent from point A to point B. So again, it, uh, it, it's all about the transparency. And we actually make great tools that uh, embedded into our platforms, cross point switches and whatnot. If you plug in the 2.1 uh, cable, if you will, if, if you're able to see the edit coming from the display, we could monitor that. Uh, and if, if you're seeing that edit come through, then that means the cable is, is for the most part, it's doing what it's, uh, it's supposed to be doing. But in our testings, we found that uh, a lot of these companies actually put a choke on a performance and fooled the edit and thinking that it made a hard connection with display. I think one of the best theory. things an integrator can do is ask questions. So right. when they go in to purchase a cable to ask the manufacturer or the distributor, what exactly am I getting with this? If it's not officially certified, then what does this mean? Let's see what they say. They, one, one thing to really take a look at with these cables, um, I'm talking about these, these uh, HDMI cables that are, you know, they call it HDMI 2.1 compliance. Uh, HDMI uh, stipulates that there should be ultra high speed certification labeling on it with a QR code for traceability. So I, I would be very leery in, in using inexpensive HDMI 2.1 powered cables. 
just test it.